Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another mystery box function challenge. In this purple mystery box, there is some math that's going to change the numbers you put in the top into something different as they come out the bottom. And your job is to figure out what is that math? What is the function inside this mystery box? We'll keep track of your ins and outs uh, in this chart here, and we'll even graph those as points uh, in case that might give you some help to determine what that math is. So if you'd like, there's a link in the description. You can try this out right now. You can add, add, put in as many numbers as you want and then come back with a solution and see if it matches the solution that I come up with. Okay, so as usual, I'm gonna start with a zero and see what we get here. All right, so zero gives us zero. This could be a lot of things, although we're probably not adding or subtracting anything. Let's try a one. Okay, and one gives us one. So we've seen this in many graphs before. This could be a line, uh, f of x equals x. It, it could maybe be x squared. We could have a parabola going on here. Let's try two. Ooh, so two gives us eight. So that's increasing pretty rapidly. And it does kind of look like one arm of a parabola, although I'm a little confused by one going to one, two going to eight. Hmm. So if this is really a parabola, it should be symmetrical on the other side. So actually, let's try that. Let's try a negative one. Oh, so negative one gives us negative one. So hmm. with these three points, it looks like we have a line, but this certainly doesn't match that. Let's try a negative two. And we're getting a negative eight. So this may be symmetrical, but it looks like it's maybe symmetrical uh, about the origin uh, rather than the y-axis. Hmm. Well, have you got any thoughts about what's going on here? I'm taking some clues from the numbers right now. So zero becomes zero, one becomes one, two becomes eight. I'm thinking this might be a cubic function. So zero times zero times zero, that would be zero cubed, would be zero, and same one cubed would be one. Two cubed, two times two times two, that would be eight. And then of course, when you cube a negative number, it comes out negative because a negative times a negative times a negative again is a negative. We can test this with another point. What is three cubed? Three times three times three would be 27. So let's put in three. See if we get 27, it won't show up on the graph. Aha, so we did get 27. So I think our function here is going to be f of x equals x cubed. Tricky. We haven't seen one of those before. That's a cubic function. Let's go ahead and reveal. I'm, I'm pretty confident about this one. And yes, that is f of x equals x cubed. And let's, let's graph that as well. This is the shape of the cubic function. It kind of has these two arms that go towards positive infinity and down towards negative infinity. And then it kind of flattens out just as it gets to the origin here. So kind of a beautiful, elegant shape for the, the cubic function. Well, how did that go for you? I, I think this one might have been pretty confusing unless you were thinking about you know cubing numbers. Just from 0, 1, and 8, that might have been a, been a difficult thing to get. Did you get it right away? Or did it take some extra work? Or did it stump you? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.